back to the channel and today we are back at it with some more ass first in company can't wait to see what's going on last time if I can remember correctly Shara had possessed Sansa's body so yeah let's see what's going on now Now hurry up and tell me about the river person before they slice us in freaking half! I'll tell you what I know, but listen closely, because I'm only saying this once. You really are starting to piss me off, you obnoxious bag of boots! Whoa! You know, kid, you're a real parasite. Parasite, I get it. Oh, shoot, I forgot about that. Ooh, still don't like it, though. Wooding, kind of scary. What do you think you're doing? What do you think I'm doing? Obviously, I'm stopping you. You're stupid! You'll die and I'll just leave your body and possess someone else! <laughs> that ain't happening. Do you really think I'm gonna let you just leave this body? No, kid. You're gonna stay right here with me for the rest of our lives. Mm. Which probably won't be very long if she has anything to say about it. My soul is stronger! I'll break free! I don't have to hold you very long. It just takes one good solid hit. What? How much HP do you have? Oh, uh, one? <laughs> Must be pretty embarrassing for you, considering how much you died to me. Yep. You idiot! Move! Hmm. Nah. I don't... I don't want to die! I imagine most of the people you killed last time I felt the same way. It's better if you just accept the inevitable. You're going to burn in hell, kid. Even if I have to drag you there myself. Sort of obvious. 
Yes, there is her voice for one. Also, she uses a fire scythe, and I remembered my mom could do that, and... Jeez. Jeez. Her man, don't you realize? Sans wants you to strike him down. I know it's hard, but it's for the greater good. Think of the lives he has already taken. If you don't stop them now, things could end up even worse. Ugh, you sound like Bindi. No, I do not believe in doing evil things for the greater good. It's gross. sign of battle ending, and there's a lot that needs explaining. Gaster, before you pass out from teleporting so many monsters, you mind trapping that weirdo in the cloak? Ah, the Oscars have betrayed me! <laughs> what? What weirdo? Oh, you're the real person, aren't you? I knew fun, who is this? You seem oddly familiar. Hey, um, do we know one another? Uh, no! I have no idea who you are, Dr. Mysterious Science <laughs> Man! Uh, okay... Will Toriel finally scold Frisk for using the F word? What? Frisk? Who taught you that word? Mom! I'm so glad you're okay! Yep. Good evening, brother! I, I failed, failed to kill you! Chara, leave Sam's body now! Oh, oh what? what? Don't, Don't you want to fire ball than me? But guess what, mother? No! This isn't harmless! <laughs> Chara can do to get out of this. The 
Earth can just tire out Sans with their love taps and dodge Chara's attacks. The only way I see of them getting out of this to get the others to back off is to hurt Sans' soul themselves. That's Why an interesting that? thought. What happens to Why a monster's soul that? inside a perfectly healthy body? Does it die? Does the body disappear? Or does it kind of exist out of time like Gasser did? Oh no! I shouldn't have said that! Yeah, uh, you could. Ignore this comment. I, 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 I'm so sorry. What? What? Ah! Zero. Oh. He, um. Looks kind of dead, darling. Oh! Sans! Get up this instant! Uh, Toriel! Are you sure that's just a love tap? I uh, guess I'm sure. I don't know if we're wrong. This may not be as bad as it looks. Perhaps he is fighting back. Yes, I am certain of this. Sans is very strong. Surely he can overcome a mere child. Baloney. You're a liar. A dirty, sciencey mm -hmm. liar. You and your fancy words. It's a mask to hide your stupid, dumb, ugly, true, evil, mad scientist face. I know what you've done, Wing Ding. You couldn't care less if your own son lived or died. You jerk! Well, they're green now, so at least if this is a trick, it's not going to work. You know, Flowey, there's something I don't quite understand. How did you know so quickly that Char was the cause of this? Yeah, you're really gonna start asking me dumb questions like that when Sans could literally be dead on the ground right now. Sheesh! Here, I thought you people cared about each other or something. Say, Metathon, hmm. couldn't you just fly into Sans' body in your ghostly form to see hmm. what's going on? Can you? Well, I suppose I could. I do hate leaving my body, but I suppose this is a bit of an emergency. Hang on, Sans! Please! <gasps> how... How is this even possible? My love, I... You're all alive? Am I? A mother should love her children. I can only pretend, and it's all your fault, Wingding. <gasps> Don't you remember? You're the reason I'm like this. I okay. was one of your first experiments. So now I'm a soulless husk made of dust and determination, just like that flower over there. Holy shoot. So yeah. Thanks a lot, turd. You're the person. I understand why you're mad with Gaster, but what he did was on good intentions. He wanted to save the skeleton he loved. Yes, he did a mistake. A lot of mistakes. And yes, he can be a little insensible sometimes, but come on. He's not all that bad, is he? Oh, buddy. That wasn't even close to the worst he's done. Shall I elaborate, Wingding? Stop. Please. Do you know where he got the determination that he injected in me? I died because a human child shot me by accident. But he didn't care that it was an accident. He murdered the child in cold blood. <laughs> Then, after my experiment seemed to fail, he moved on to murdering criminals for his stupid science. <gasps> after that, he took to experimenting on captured humans before sending their souls to Asgore. Jax, I saw what you did! And as if that wasn't bad enough on its own, all the while he neglected our sons. Always he was busy. He had important things to do. Hey, Dad, look at this. Sans was forced to grow up much faster than he should have. And then Fluffy Bunny. Yeah. Even still, he still had hope that one day his dad would look up and notice him again. 
Uh, hey, Dad. I recalibrated the quantum amplifier for you. Can you even imagine what it must have been like when he learned what his own father's experiments really were? <laughs> so, Wing Ding, what greater good were you working towards? Tell me! Tell me all about your good intentions! Tell me how they make all this suddenly okay! I dare you. <gasps> side. Gaster, in a rage, killed a human who killed his love. Yes, it wasn't right, but obviously he wasn't thinking clearly. Then he tried to bring you back. To your kids. To him. He experimented on criminals. Well, yes, that's wrong. They're not innocents. The closest thing to innocence he experimented on were the humans who were going to die by the royal guard. After all that, then he sent it to the void? Ripped from existence? Why are you right to yell at him? Don't... Don't make excuses for me. Stop making excuses. My actions were inexcusable. So many died by my hand. Tortured more than that. Monsters. Humans. Children. Guilty and innocent. There is no justification for that. <laughs> and so would the deaths of the cursed and the innocent weigh heavily upon the shoulders of the desperate and deranged now that his eyes have been forcefully reopened by the angel of vengeance. Both horrible and enlightening lays the scene before him. Will he finally become mad from the stains on his hands? Or will the angel... Acting as both judge and jury, grant him mercy in time served. Hmm. Am I the only one who thinks Gaster didn't accidentally fall in, but rather willingly fell? If you catch my meaning. <sighs> really? That's not what you expected him to? That's not what you expected him to do? His long dead wife who he loved more than anything, comes back, only to tell him what he's been telling himself for years. And you expected him to do anything else but cry? Don't you even wonder how a genius could fall accidentally into his own creation, which he designed himself? Maybe it was too much for him. Maybe he told himself that his sons would be better off without him. Maybe he jumped. <gasps> that never even occurred to me. I, I thought, well, I thought he'd, I don't know, turn evil or something. Okay, that sounds really dumb when I say it out loud. Now what in the fresh hecklers did I expect? You dumb goof, Terman. Oh, man. What? Did you expect him to be all... Ah, uh, yes! You have seen into my black and emo heart! <laughs> All this time I've been a cartoon villain with no redeeming qualities or feeling aside from malice and evil! Watch as I kick this puppy for no reason! Gasp as I construct the death ray to destroy everything because I'm evil! <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Wow. So I was right. The whole time I was. I had a theory that little person is Sans mom. But holy shoot. So his mom did die, but Gastel used DT determination on her? Huh. Jeez. Well, this has been something, but guys, as always, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. The links to both part 9 and 10 would be in the description below. Make sure to comment and tell me what you guys think of today's video. And also, if you join us for the first time, Hit that subscribe button. When you do that, you get the bell notification. Hit that as well. So you get notified on when I upload videos like this one. And I will see you guys next time.